Welcome back guys, welcome back. Check this out, this is my 10 kilowatt electric pit bike. It's got a bit of a problem though. Something's up with the battery. It's not charging, it's not showing any voltage. So I don't think it's completely dead but we're gonna see if we can fix it. Cause I wanna go for a rip on it. Also need to sort out this rear suspension. I've tried to fit this new shock on here and it's not really worked out. It's the swing arm angle's wrong, chain's all loose and I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna go back to the normal one. It's just too big. Here we go. Right, of course, so I'd obviously adjusted the um, the rear wheel position on here, because look, that chain's way too tight. Suspension's in though. Right, let's just adjust this back wheel. We should be good to go. Right, that looks better. Need a bit of slack for when the suspension's extended. Right, that's that bit done. Oh, I'm really hot now. Right, so now we need to figure out what's going on with the battery. So I built this a while ago. So this is a 20S battery. Um, I think it's got Samsung 35T cells in it, so they're like super high power cells. Um, it's not very big capacity, it's like 9 amp hour or something like that. It's enough just for like blasting around on. But yeah, there's no voltage on here. Um, so yeah, there's absolutely zero voltage on there and nothing on the charge port. It won't charge using the uh, cycle safety out of charger over there. Um, so we're going to have to rip this apart. The BMS, I've put a BMS in here, like a smart Bluetooth BMS. This is right on the top. So I'm going to take that off, take this, some of this tape off and um, get directly to the battery terminal so we can almost like force charge it. I'm wondering if the BMS, because it's a Bluetooth one, I'm wondering if it's, if it's discharged the battery. I mean, it shouldn't do, but yeah, you never can tell with these things. Right, so here's the problem, guys. It's not charging. So look, this is the charge lead that runs into the battery. The red basically just goes straight to the red of the battery. The negative goes to the BMS. You can see the BMS is actually flashing, so there must be some power in the battery, but it's showing hardly any voltage on there. So what I'll show you first, I'll just plug the charger into the charge port, and I'll show you what happens on the charger. All right, so that's plugged in. So we go to the charger and we select lithium. If we hold it to start, it just says connect battery. It's basically just saying there's no battery connected at all, which obviously there is. So what's happening here is the BMS is basically just turned off. It's not letting any anything flow through the negative lead. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna disconnect the negative from here and then just run a wire directly from the charger to these terminals here. This could go horribly wrong, but <laughs> that will in effect just bypass the BMS so at least we can get some charging going on. Actually, what you can do on this, you can actually do a full start charge. So if you do full start, there you go, see, and it'll just skyrocket up to 90 volts because it's not got anything, effectively got nothing connected to it. Don't know if you'll be able to see this very clearly, but I'm just gonna put the red in there and take this wire and just basically touch that from there to there and see if we get an explosion or not. Shouldn't do, because there's no power in the battery. What all we're doing is just to try and get this to start charging. That's all I want. And stop touching that in there, so nothing's happening. So let's start the charger and do that again. So nothing's happening. I'm just gonna start that, do that false charge thing. There you go. So we've got 16, oh! Don't know what happened there, it just started arcing. I think it's because I was trying to hold it while filming as well. But I'm actually gonna solder this wire onto there now because it was just arcing too much. It's a quick little tack, that's all I'm after. That would do it. Right, it's all connected. Let's try starting the charge. There you go. It's doing it now. I might be able to fire up the BMS now to see what's going on. Right, so it's bleeping, it's not happy. As you can see, total pack voltage is like 17 volts. So let's stop this. What I really need to do is sort of set it to some sort of like lower voltage where it's actually gonna start. Maybe like a lead acid one or something. Yeah, look, 12.7 lead acid. So let's try and creep the voltage up. I'll go into the settings here. Um, and we'll try and creep the voltage up slowly. This is gonna be a bit of a pain. But yeah, edit profiles, let's go to lead acid there, because this will be a bit more forgiving, I think. So hold to edit that. And let's try and get that set to, sorry guys, you're not gonna be able to see the screen very clearly. Right, so let's try to 24 volts first. Save that, done, right. So that's gonna reboot. If we go to lead now, so it's 25 volts. Hold to start that that's gonna start charging now. See, look at the voltage now, it's just recovering really quick. Perfect. So, and now you can see it coming back down again as well. Right, so we just need to keep doing that, keep increasing the voltage until we get to its nominal voltage. Should recover pretty quick. 
Right, going for full power now, I've set it to 72 volts. 72 volts lead. Let's start that, see what happens. See, the lead acid pro profile will just literally just run voltage in. So we're covering. Ooh, scary stuff, guys. So we're getting there now. I'm gonna check my BMS and see what's going on on that. Right, so you can see it raising up now. So let's look at the individual cells. So we're like 2.9, 2.9. So yeah, there's no dead cells in there by the looks of things. Everything's creeping up nicely. Um, yeah, we should be good to go. So what I will do now, see look, you can see at the top it says charge enabled now. One cell's under voltage, where's that? Um, that might be an old error. But they're coming back there, see? Three volts. So that is good. Doesn't look like we've got any issues. Don't speak too soon. I can't see anything. Can you see anything, guys? I can't see anything. I'm just trying to look at all these numbers. But there is a thing there. Highest cell voltage and lowest cell voltage. Three volts. Uh, highest cell voltage. So look, there you go. Output's enabled now. So it's coming back to life, guys. So I'll let it get up to about 70 volts so it won't drop too much. And then what I'll do is I'll just go back to charging it via the normal method. And that should be it. I mean, I do need to change this connector, really. But I don't think I'm going to be bothered to do that now. I think I'm just going to put it together and go for a rip. So I'm waiting for that battery to charge. If you are going to do stuff like this, guys, with batteries, you've got to watch what's going on as, as you're charging it up. Because, you know, you could, you could have a cell that's like literally down. And then you're forcing the whole pack up to a high voltage. Um, and then that one cell is going to not be able to take that voltage. And it might, you know, do something dodgy. So having a BMS in here like this, like a Bluetooth BMS, is, is just gold. Because you can just not literally just stand there with a coffee and just watch what's going on. Don't have to have any multimeters or anything like that. I've literally not got a multimeter here today. I've, I forgot it, so. <laughs> right, so we're approaching 70 volts now. So I'm gonna disconnect this and then, um, you know, put it on the correct charge profile for lithium, uh, lithium iron and then uh, reconnect it. How cool is that? I've got a split screen on the phone now. So you can see on the left-hand side, I've got the, the voltage there. So that's the voltage of the battery. So I'm gonna turn off the charger. So I've just stop the charger. Um, I think it's the top one. So I bought charge. Now watch the voltage, it will start to go down. As long as it don't go below 60, we'll be all right. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's going down a little bit. That's kind of normal. So we're gonna set the charger to this one, 84 volts, five amps. And then what I'll do is I'll go over here, disconnect this wire from there. Um, and then I'm gonna connect up this black wire here. Right, so they're plugged in. So now, if we go back over to the charger, we should find that this will start now. There you go. Clicked in, and then we should get five amps going in, and then the voltage will come up as well. So that's good to go. We can just leave that now, and that will fully charge that battery. And if we want to just check our, our individual voltages there, you can see um, everything's looking okay. I mean, everything's actually really good, considering it's come from like really deeply discharged. Um, there's only 0 0.012 volt across the whole lot, so it's actually really good. Started putting it back together now, guys. Still charging. Right, it's nearly charged. Always looking good. Let's see if she's alive. I think that's the low speed setting as well. She's back guys, she's back. Oh, this thing feels so good. So this is like the low speed setting. Oh, it feels so, it feels so good. Right, let's try high power setting. Oh, that is brutal. Oh my God, forget how crazy this is. It's keeping the front wheel down, that's the problem. Oh, that is scary. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> it's actually too much, I think. I'm going to have to tone this down. It's, it is too much. I'm getting too old for this. Flicking mud everywhere. 
wicked though, it is wicked. It just feels so much more locked in than like a high powered e bike. The rear needs pumping up bad. I bet this has literally got no pressure in it at all. 4.5, yeah, no wonder I was sliding around it all over the place. That'll do it. That's better. Well, I've come over here. This is going to be a bit sketchy. It's so slippery. And there's like a lot of trees falling down as well. Oh, oh, oh. This thing is an absolute. Oh. I can't tame this beast. I can't tame it. I can't tame it, guys. It's not happening. I'm in trouble here. Oh, this is not a good idea. Straight off of here. <laughs> I'm going to come across a big star. No freaking way, guys. No freaking way. <laughs> Got mud down my neck. Right, stick it into high power mode. Let's get it going on, guys. That is <laughs> absolute madness, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you next time.